With the 13th ranked economy in the world, the list of Spain's billionaires continues to rise each and every year. So do their surprisingly tasteful multi-million dollar purchases. If we're talking about Spain's wealthiest people, then obviously we have to talk about the Ortega family. Their combined net worth has been reported to be 73.8 billion. This makes them the fifth richest family in the world, below the Waltons but above the Porsche family. Not a bad place to be. So let's start with the patriarch of this Spanish dynasty. You might not recognize the name Amancio Ortega Gaona, but it's definitely a name you should know. The founder of the Inditex fashion group and the Zara clothing line is the richest man in Spain. As of October 2021, Amancio has a net worth of $78.9 billion. This makes him the third richest man in Europe and the 13th wealthiest person in the world. So how does he spend his money? Well, our dear Amancio is a shrewd businessman and a deeply private person. To date, he's only given a handful of interviews. What he does like to do is invest heavily in real estate and he's really, really good at it. As of July 2020, his investment company had property holdings worth $17 billion. These include properties like the Hawau building in Manhattan. It's a five-story, 79-foot tall commercial loft building in Soho. Built in 1857 by architect John P. Gaynor, it's historic for possessing the first functional elevator. Apparently, it cost around $150 million to land this one. He's also nabbed the tallest tower in Miami, the Panorama Tower, for $500 million. It's an 85-foot skyscraper that was completed in 2018 after years of stalls due to the recession. He's basically playing a very real-life game of Monopoly with some of the nicest cities on Earth as his game board. He has dropped $72.5 million for a hotel in Chicago on top of deals in Washington and Seattle. As for the fun purchases, he's been spotted in a Mercedes-Benz S-Class worth $28,000 and a black Mercedes-Benz GL-Class worth upwards of $58,000. He also owns two yachts, Drizzle and Valeria B, as well as a Gulfstream 650 private jet worth $65 million. It should be no surprise that the second richest person in the world is the daughter of the first. Sandra Ortega Mera has $7.1 billion, but she doesn't spend it like her father. By all accounts, she's a normal woman who spends her time working for her late mother's foundation. At the time of her death, Rosalia Mera was worth $6.1 billion. Her interests with her fortune also weren't focused on herself. She used her fortune to establish a foundation to help disabled children. Since her passing, Sandra has devoted most of her time to this foundation as well. So yeah, they basically be the Spanish equivalent of keeping up with the Kardashians. Except every episode would be less about life in the Hollywood Hills as it would be about buying prime real estate and investing in charities. Juan Miguel Villar Mir has had quite the wild ride. In the 1970s, he was the Minister of Economy and Finance in Spain. In the 80s, he fell into financial difficulties and sought bankruptcy. Now today, he's worth $2.7 billion. He's worked in government, served as CEO for a large-scale construction company, and served as a board member for a large multinational. This guy has been to the top, then to the bottom, and then to the top again. So when your financial history has been a literal roller coaster, it's probably time to buy some of the nicest yachts money can buy. He bought Blue Eyes, a 60 meter long ship capable of carrying 26 people. He had to drop $30 million to get his name on this beauty. Aside from that, he really doesn't throw his money around for the world to see. Of course, when you've spent 30 mil on one of the finest ships money can buy, what more do you need to show off? Isaac Andick is the founder and the largest shareholder in the clothing company Mango. He's worth $1.7 billion. He got his start when he immigrated from Turkey to Barcelona in 1969. He and his brother began selling handmade t-shirts and clogs. From that tiny little business, he created the largest clothing retailer in the world. So with a success story like that, obviously he had to start dropping money like a boss. This starts with his private home in Barcelona. It's a huge modern home with a pool that looks like the size of a runway. It has deep hedges that push out against the cramped homes all around him. 
that sheer amount of space in such a tight neighborhood is quite the flex. I don't know exactly how much he paid for the place, but estates like this in Barcelona can run into the tens of millions. That definitely seems like the kind of money he'd want to spend on a house because our man Isaac is also a big luxury yacht fan. He is the owner of the Nirvana Formentera. This enormous yacht is 53 meters in length, can reach 12 knots, and can hold 10 guests and 9 crew. Apparently this set him back 35 million on top of the roughly 3 million it costs to run every year. If that wasn't cool enough, he's also gotten an honor that pretty much anyone would be jealous of. He was honored with a knighthood in France. Money can't buy that. So yeah, dude started off selling t-shirts and flipped that into one of the biggest successes in the world. He probably deserves to splurge. Juanabello is the son of a pharmacist. He took on his father's trade and it led him to getting appointed as managing director of the company his father founded. In the 90s, he founded a family-owned global investment firm that contained 25 portfolio companies that, you know what, let me just simplify this. The dude did pretty well. He's reported to be worth $2.7 billion. As far as how he spends it, well, Abello has classier tastes than most do. He has an extensive art collection that includes over 500 works of art. This includes works by the likes of Edgar Degas, Pablo Picasso, Vincent van Gogh, Salvador Dali, and Francis Bacon. That is an impressive group of artists even if none of them have Ninja Turtles based on them. So how much does a collection like this run? Well, a Van Gogh can go for tens of millions to hundreds of millions, a Degas can go for tens of thousands, a Dali can go for up to tens of millions, a Picasso can go for hundreds of millions. So take all of these pieces and then factor in that he owns over 500 pieces. While many of those pieces are likely considerably cheaper, it's likely not an exaggeration to think this collection is in the billions. If you want to know what a real boss looks like, look no further than Alicia Kolowitz. She has amassed a fortune of 2.6 billion by being a shrewd businesswoman. Her father built what was once known as the biggest construction company in Spain. When Alicia and her sister inherited the company in 1968, most people probably thought it would be wise to stick with it. Surprisingly, in 97, she sold her stakes to her sister for 8 100 mil. Afterwards, she invested everything in Omega Capital, which she controlled. This proved to be wise as her father's company dropped from first to fifth and Omega proved to be a great success. How she spends her money is how she makes her money. She's invested in steel, utilities, and several other interests. She owns several high-end hotels, such as the Hosps Amerigo. I mean, this is exactly the kind of hotel you'd want to stay in while visiting Spain. It has beautiful classic architecture on the outside, but a sleek modern feel on the inside. It features a rooftop spa and pool, several high-class dining options, and one of the best views in the entire world. A lot of people become rich, but not nearly as many people stay rich. If you do find yourself with Scrooge McDuck levels of cash, do yourself a favor and get your money to make more money. Florentino Perez is well known for being the president of the Real Madrid Football Club. That's only half of it though, because he also runs the largest construction company in Spain. Due to this, he has amassed 1.8 billion. So of course, he's bought some ridiculous things. Let's start with this house. If you look at it, wait, I'm pretty sure that is the image of a giant hospital. No, no that's this man's legit house. Seriously, that looks like the hospital the Joker blew up in the dark night. Specs on this house are pretty light, but from the look of it, I'm gonna guess it has a hundred bedrooms, six pools, and an indoor helipad with the Real Madrid logo. From the images, I can tell it has a large pool, a luscious garden, and a spacious rooftop patio. It also looks like there's a guard tower, so maybe this is just the prison he takes players to when they lose a match. Of course, this isn't the first ridiculous property he's owned. He used to live on a 15,000 square meter Mallorca estate with two swimming pools, a helipad, a gym, and a huge palm tree garden. This gorgeous resort style property was purchased for $30 million in 2018. He also owns a 31 meter yacht capable of holding 14 people. He managed to pick this up for only $3 million. As far as billionaire yacht purchases go, he basically picked it up for nothing. Frankly, I'm surprised he doesn't spend his money on a whole fleet of jets, considering how over the top his home is. 
The most expensive yacht, the History Supreme, is actually worth 4.8 billion. So in a way, all these guys are kind of thrifty by billionaire standards. Though.